how would you let it go? You know, like I said, what you could do, like I said, if you believe that somebody's got a lien and they found a lien on error on you, then you just require that you have a hearing. You say, hey, you know, make your uh, presentment known to the court. And like I said, if, if anybody, especially if it's just another man or another woman like that, oh, that's sweet. Because like I said, all you got to do is you can say to them, look, at, at this time, the best I could do is pay, like I said, I did that with a guy in Indiana. If you listen to the show back in August, like the first week of August, the letter was very simple. It basically just said um, uh, to the state of Indiana that all he had at this time was um, $30. Uh, he, I said to him, how much money do you have? A, a, can you afford a dollar a day? And he said, yes, I have a dollar a day that I can afford. So then I just said to him, I said, great, we're going to write a letter to the state of Indiana, and we're just going to say to them, and this is exactly what the letter said, at this time, I, a man, Brian Bonner, do not have access to more than $30 per month. Is there anything else of value in which you will accept as payment to the debt, in which, one, you claim is true, and two, you believe that I owe to you, and that now that you are claiming is past due. So there you go. So right there, he says, the best I could do is $30 a month. And he owed tens of thousands, whatever it was, in back child support. And he was looking at four, four and a half years in jail. He was going to be sentenced. So by throwing that letter into the court, he just says, look, I do not have access to more than $30 per month. That's all. That's all I got. Is there anything else of value in which you will accept this payment to a debt? So, see, he was acting honorably. So they had to accept it. You better believe uh, the state of Indiana wants him to pay every damn dime and pay it now. They don't want to accept this silly $30 nonsense. And then, like I said, the lady who had a uh, child and, and their bills was in the tens of thousands of dollars with the hospital. They said she was saying how the hospital treated her like dirt every time they went to court. But when they presented a letter just like this, saying that most that she had at her disposal at, at, at the end of every month was $5. That's all she had was $5. She said when she put this note in before the court and the hospital attorneys, when they got to court, she put this note in with the $5 thing. And she said the, 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 the attorneys for the hospital treated her nice. The judge treated her nice. She said prior to that note, they said they always treated me like dirt. So uh, and that's what I'm trying to say. If anybody's making a claim that you owe them a debt, you tell them, honestly, this is all I can afford to pay you every month. I, all I can pay you is 30 cents. That's all I can pay you. You know what? Do you guys just want the problem to go away? There you go. Just say, look, the most I can do is a dollar a month. The best I can do is five dollars a month. The best I can do is thirty dollars a month. If you just want the problem to go to hell away, and you just want to get on and do something else with your life instead of reading all this stuff, filing appeals, doing Surrey jurist nonsense, reading all these stupid websites, just say, you know what? I don't care who comes to me. If I could say, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care who comes to me. Uh, say Betty Crocker comes to me and I say, I owe $10,000 for a cookbook. I say, you know what, lady, you know, Betty Crocker Corporation or whatever, you know what, I'm not going to go around with the arguing court. I'm going to send her this letter and say, look, the best I have is uh, 10 cents a month to, to set off this debt. Is there anything else of, that you believe of value that you will accept and which you claim is true and which you believe I now owe you and then you declare is post due? Is there anything else I could do for you, ma'am? And that's it. And I'm done. You know what, I'm going to take the 50 cent stamp put a 10 cent check in the mail and be done. And I'm going on my life. So I don't care what, who's making a claim. I own a debt. You know, I don't care how ridiculous. I don't care if they even got the wrong guy. I don't care. I'm just going to give him 10 cents and give him a dollar and get him the hell off my back. You know, cause like I said, man, especially like I said, you go to surgery, you do like one of the animals I got to do with. I could die at any moment, man. So why am I going to waste my time going to court, arguing with people, writing papers, doing all this nonsense, when I can just write two, three sentences and be done? Just like I'm sure that lady who's got that sickly uh, daughter of hers, and she said, oh, I could pay the hospital is five dollars. They were going to, they were going to, they were going to uh, uh, garnish her paycheck. They were going to lean her uh, like her, her home. They were going to take all, all her possessions. They were going to execute a warrant and debt on her. It was ridiculous. I said, lady, how about we, how about you just do a two, three sentence letter and we'd be done? Give him five dollars a month and back him off. Would you be happy? No worry about garnishment. Nothing to worry about you know possessions in your home being you know taken out. You know you know like I try to say to folks, doesn't that make you folks happy? Just say, look, I don't give a damn. Just give him a couple of dollars a month. I just make him go away. <laughs> That's all I give a damn about. 
uh, you know, I don't, I don't have to win anything. It's like, to me, being left alone is a win. So it's like, you know what, I, I don't want to spend my whole life arguing with these people. Obviously, a kid got some, you know, good medical care, and obviously this guy actually owes child support, and obviously the state of Indiana, you know, paid money to his ex-wife and his kids, or well, one kid, two kids, I don't know how many kids he's got. But uh, they paid him. Obviously, they paid money out. The people of Indiana helped support his child and helped support his ex-wife. I'm sure they were collecting some sort of state benefit. So now he's paying back $30 a month. Well, damn, I mean, most dads probably pay $30 a day to, to, to feed their kids or house their kids. So he's paying the state back $30 a month for the next 10,000 months. So why? So like I said, that's why, you know, if you want to argue with them all the time, I couldn't care less. I was like, you know what, you know, like I said, you you do the Gordon Hole thing, you conditionally accept their offer upon proof of claim, da 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 You can do that too. You know, but like I said, if you want to, if you just want to make it go away really super quick, just say, okay, you know what, fine. You know what? It's like saying like a husband and wife arguing. You just say, you know what, honey, you're right. You're absolutely right. You know what, everything you say, honey, you are right. You know what, fine. Everything you say is right. You're absolutely right. You know what, fine. Yeah, here's a dollar a month for the next 10 million months. Have a nice, have a nice life. I'm gone. But you know what? You're right. I, I, I'm out of here. I, I'm not going to argue. I'm not going to fight. You know what? You're right. This make you happy. There's nothing they can do. You're done. 